uh, marching bands in general um, and music programs, they're really unique. They have very unique communication challenges. Unlike other teachers on campuses, wherever you're at, you're not worried about a student not having a book. You're not worried about a student having a book that's outdated because you know they're outdated anyways, let alone trying to compare the music that was written in the 18th century to the, the books that they're trying to do math out of today. Obviously, our music could be considered outdated, but it's actually more precious than that. And so th the challenges that we have are actually very broad. No one thought that I was going to be a music major, I was going to be a band director, and then someday it's going to really be a small business operation because you're not just checking out books. You've got fleet management, you have music libraries, you have non-paid staff called volunteers, uh, schedules of performances that you have to dictate, you have asset management, you have PCs, electronics, you have software, uh, there are so many different parts of the assets. Uh, you have fundraising, uh, you have transportation, buses, if you're doing marching band or if you're traveling for whatever it is, you're figuring out transportation. You have budgets, you actually have to deal with things financially and uh, some schools not everybody's great at doing their own stuff. Then you have your paid staff you have to deal with. You have instrument inventories, you have rental agreements, you have boosters, sometimes that's a double-edged sword. Uh, you have props. Don't forget the vehicles you have to move the props with, right? The rental agreement stuff. And you got storage of all your stuff. You have more square footage and everything that it is that you do and more crevices that you need to fill with instrumentation and documentation and you have more kids at one time than any other class aside from PE, depending upon the size of your music program. Let's not forget, when we, when we went out there and we got these music degrees and we started to get into education, you still, on top of all of that, you still have students and you have a full curriculum of education that's expected to be done within your classrooms. You, as directors, have so much responsibility, it's not even funny. Yet one of the biggest crutches in everything that we do is in communication because if we can streamline the communication process and at least make something simplified as possible, that's the goal, then it oftentimes will help make sure at least the rest of this you can think about. How many questions a day do you get that are the same? So what is the goal? The goal is to have everyone on the same page with where that group needs to be. And so you're dealing with things like staff, they have information, you have boosters, they have specific information and it doesn't need to go to everybody. You have volunteers. The band dads and band moms are the best in my opinion. They work the hardest and you know, just a thank you and does so much for them. And so you got the parents and you got to give them information. And then you have your students. So the students are usually fairly easy. I mean, if you have 100 kids, there's a couple in there that you might have a challenge with. And even that challenge is still a communication issue in many times. It's just a matter of being able to figure out how, what moves them and how, how to motivate them. So communication covers many groups that total into hundreds of people. And it is so difficult to make sure that that all happens because they all need information. It's not always the same, but it definitely needs to be coordinated. 